A Keeper Backup is a Joomla component to help you to easily backup, restore and transfer your website. In this lesson, we will be installing the free version of a Keeper Backup into our Joomla 3 website. To begin with, let's download a copy of a Keeper Backup core to our computer. Go to the download menu and select a Keeper Backup. We can now see the latest release of Akiba Backup, which at the time of recording was 3.6.12. Let's select the link that takes us to the downloads. Here we can see the download file, together with extensive documentation in PDF formats. But for now, let's just download a copy of Akiba Backup Core to our own computer. Once the download is completed, go to your Joomla 3 website and log in to the administrator. A Keeper Backup Core installs like any Joomla extension. Go to the Extensions menu and select Extensions Manager. Now we need to select our copy of a Keeper Backup Core that we downloaded. And click Upload and Install. Once the installation is complete, you will receive a success message such as this. We now need to go and configure a Keeper Backup Core for our web server. Go to the Components menu and select a Keeper Backup. We can see several options here. And the first one that is pre-selected is to run the configuration wizard. We'll leave that selected as we will go through that in the next stage. Click the tick boxes to show that you have read and understood the license, that you understand that support is only for subscribers, and most importantly, that you understand that an untested backup is as good as no backup at all. And click Apply these preferences. The configuration wizard automatically starts, and a Kiva Backup Core determines the best settings for your individual websites. It is important that you remain on this screen until the wizard has completed. Once the wizard has completed, you're all ready to complete your first backup. So let's go ahead and do that right now. As we can see, a Keeper Backup will store some information each time we make a backup. By default, it creates a description for the backup, say, stating the time and date that it was taken. And you can optionally include an additional comment, perhaps stating that you are doing this backup before installing another component. For now, I'm going to leave that blank and just click Backup Now. The backup process has now started. It's important that you do not browse to any other page until the backup has completed. Once the backup has completed successfully, you should click on Manage Backups. Here we can see the backup has taken place with the description, a status of OK, the size of the backup and a link to the actual backup file itself. Depending on your configuration there may be multiple files. A backup kept on your website is as useful as a set of spare keys stored inside your house. So it's important that you download the backup from your website to your own computer. And you can do this simply by clicking the link. Once you have downloaded the backup, you can, if you want, delete the backup file from your website. Perhaps you are short of space on your hosting account. You can do this by selecting the backup here and then clicking Delete Files. You will see there is another option called Delete. This will delete the complete record that a backup took place. I prefer to keep that record and we'll just click Delete Files. And we can see now that the record is still here, but the backup file itself has gone. We have now created our first backup with a Kiba Backup Core. 